Good morning, Northwood Temple Academy families. I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving with your family and you had the time to just let the Lord know how grateful you are of all he has done. It's difficult to believe that one more day is left in November and then it's December. We all know how busy we get in December, but I wanted to stop by this morning and just encourage you to give to our GoFundMe for our teachers bonus this Christmas. So far, we only have maybe less than, um, well, I know it's less than 20 donations. And I just want to encourage you to give to that this year. If you can just give at a minimum of $20 and every family gave $20, we would have enough to bless the t teachers in a great way this year. So, um, and listen, I know sometimes we think we have until we get to thinking about Christmas and we have till the 25th, but the faculty party is actually December the 15th this year at 1230. And so our wellness director, Ms. Sessoms, would love to have all of that taken care of by the beginning um, of that week, maybe by the 12th or the 13th, so that um, she can have the money divided and ready to give to teachers on the 15th. So if you have not given yet, I want to encourage you to make that a priority and to discuss it with your children and let them know what you're doing and why you're doing it. Um, I was reading in Acts, I love this story. It's the story of um, Philip when an angel of the Lord appears to him and gives him some directions. He says, um, I want you to go south. Can you imagine an angel of the Lord appearing to us and just say, go south. Um, well, for me, I'd have to get my compass out. But he tells Philip, he says, I want you to go down south and he, go south and I want you to take the desert road that run, runs from Jerusalem to Gaza. So scripture says, so that Philip started out and he met a eunuch of great authority um, who was serving in the queen of Ethiopia's court. The eunuch was on his way to Jerusalem to worship, and now he was returning in his carriage, and he was reading out loud from the prophet Isaiah. And the Holy Spirit said to Philip, I want you to go over there and walk alongside the carriage. And, um, and so Philip did. He was obedient to the Holy Spirit, and he went over beside the carriage, and he said this to the eunuch. Do you understand what you're reading? And the man replied, how can I unless someone instructs me? And he urged Philip to come up into the carriage and sit with him. And then they began to read that scripture out of Isaiah, and Philip began to um, to let him know what, what that scripture meant. And without going into detail of the scripture, uh, what's important this morning that I want to share with you is, is that's what the teacher that stands before your children every day has the ability to do whether that's in math or science or reading, whatever discipline, academic discipline they're doing, that teacher comes up alongside that student and says, um, you know, do you understand? Do you understand? And that becomes most important when our students are reading in scripture and we're sharing story from God's word, that that teacher is able to come up beside them and say, do you understand? because that teacher is instructing your children every day. That's very important. Um, scripture says that when a student is fully trained, he'll be like his teacher. So you can count on that the teacher that stands before your children at Northwood Temple Academy love the Lord with all their heart, with all their so mind, with all their soul. So please take the time to bless the teacher. I would love for what's in the GoFundMe. I think there's maybe 12, 1300 in there right now. Um, I would love to see that grow exponentially this week. I think last year we raised um, twelve or 13000 in our heart this year, and the heart of our wellness director was really to lift that to about 15000 So can you share that with your family and friends and just share with them the importance of what that teacher does every day, just like Philip did for that eunuch? and comes up alongside your children and says, do you understand what you're reading, what you're learning? And listen, the result of Philip following the Holy Spirit's um, direction as he shared with that eunuch, it resulted in that eunuch being baptized and giving his heart to the Lord. That's pretty awesome. So don't underestimate the power 
of the teacher who stands before your children and loves them every day. So bless them this Christmas. Take a minute today, take a minute this week to make your offering, your donation to the GoFundMe account for the teacher's Christmas bonus. Um, I look forward to hearing from Ms. Sessoms how that account grows so that we can bless these precious teachers who help your children to understand every day. Merry Christmas. I'll be talking to you again as we get through the season. I hope to see you at the many events, whether it's the elementary theater arts, preschool and kindergarten program, the band program. So much goes on in the month of December. I hope to see you at some of those programs. Thank you.